All right, so in my unexpected last ride on the 9 bot, I, of course, I don't know how to really get off of it gracefully yet, so I fell off of it as I have been doing, and it kind of, it kind of barrel rolled when I did it, and as a result, the battery actually ejected itself, which I don't think is supposed to happen. Um, so I just looked very quickly how to put it back in. This basically just unsnaps. This is the LED ring. And then there's two Phillips heads up here that come out. I've watched a lot of people on, on uh, learning to ride 9 bot ones I haven't seen anyone wreck bad enough that the battery ejected, so... Maybe that's a badge of honor. Or stupidity, more like. Alright, so... Got those two screws out, so now you can go lift that up and out. And there you see the... battery connectors. lays in here. You have to reconnect these. So it's back in. Yeah, when when it ejected, what happened was the um, these little tabs in the bottom. Luckily, they're not broken. They like they flipped out enough, I guess, just to there's enough momentum to allow it to flip out and it in turn ejected the battery. You can see how damaged this is. I've had this for less than 24 hours and this is how damaged it is already. So Once I get good at it, I'll probably be re replacing the case or I'll be um, getting a new cover for it or something. Alright, so let's reverse this. My lower body is really, really beat up. Got bruises all over my shins. Wiped out, fell on my hip, my, my knee, and my elbow. Um, yeah, it's been a tough learning curve. I think this must have, this would have been a lot easier to learn when I was maybe 15 as opposed to 48. Just kind of snaps back in. Nothing too fancy about it. Yeah, okay, so it's back in. So now I should be able to turn it on and have it work, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it lives again. It lives to crash once more. Duff man out.